Hey yo man, what is good? It is your boy Cloud. Today I'm gonna be talking to you guys and running through you how to buy and sell Solana NFTs. Now you might just be coming from Ethereum or OpenSea NFTs and you want to make your way over to Solana and just figure out how to buy and sell it, you know? You know, you don't have to worry about no gas fees. You want to know how to get into it. Everything's way cheaper. It's just better in my opinion. Well, I'm gonna be telling you step by step on how to do so. I'm gonna explain it to you like you're a kindergartner because that's how I like things explained. Yes, I might be a little bit slow. I'm just a regular dude who sits my ass down on a chair all day and plays video games yeah i would really appreciate if you hit that like subscribe button and uh, follow me my twitter right there in front of your face now the first thing you will need to do is of course open up a browser or if you're just using a phone you can do this as well but first thing you will need to do is of course have some solana and go buy some solana now for me i use coinbase you can use any other one that you want there's crypto.com there's binance there's ftx usa you guys do your own research on which one exactly you want to do because there's so much to look at now here i am using coinbase if you guys want to use coinbase i will link it down below in the description the link to download coinbase or pretty much just make your own account using my link of course will get us both ten dollars in bitcoin which we can transfer it over to solana because who the hell is going to make money with ten dollars in bitcoin am i right so yeah you buy your solana now what do i do clouds what the hell do i do well that's easy okay we're gonna make our way over to a phantom wallet now what is a phantom wallet well i'm gonna show you okay this is pretty much a wallet for your crypto specifically solana crypto and just nfts okay it holds your nfts it pretty much it's like a metamask okay if you're, you're on ethereum you know what metamask is it's basically like that but 10 times better in my opinion okay now once you're on here you want to search up phantom.app i will link this down below in the description as well to help you guys out if you're doing this on mobile it's even easier because you could just go on your mobile app uh app store or like google play and you search up phantom app and it's going to show up right there for you easy but for us alpha males who do everything on a goddamn pc that's rigged out i'm just kidding we're going to go right here and we're going to click straight on download okay now once you're on here scroll down and you're going to find right here uh click on whichever one that you're using whatever browser that you're using if you're using edge because just please like just go i don't know what the jump off a bridge just kidding it's a joke now i personally use brave it's way better but for this example i'm going to be doing it on google chrome so i'm going to click on google chrome right there it's going to take me to this bright white screen right here and i'm gonna put add to chrome and add it as an extension and just like that you have phantom wallet now it's time to make an account now right here phantom wallet is basically a crypto wallet that's all you really need to know now clearly you don't have a wallet so you're going to create a new wallet right there click on that and right here you're going to create a password and whatever you want now of course you do not want to forget this password you might want to write it down on a piece of paper somewhere you're not going to lose it because you're going to need to keep putting in this password every time you log into your phantom wallet like every time you're going to buy something you will need to type in your password so i recommend you remember this now right here is the the most important part of this video is going to show you a 12 secret recovery phrase what the hell does that mean well it's basically just a phrase to make sure that your account doesn't get hacked so you won't lose all your nfts or crypto by crypto i just mean solana now once you hover over i'm not going to hover over it because it's going to show you guys my 12 verification whatever but for you you're going to hover over it and you're going to see 12 words you're going to make sure to write them down in order well i don't believe i don't know really if it's in order but i do it in order just in case but make sure you guys write this down on a piece of paper Paper, save it somewhere that's very important because this is right here what will give you access to your wallet and if anybody else sees this code and then writes it down and finds it you're pretty much done so and and they have your whole wallet gg so yeah make sure you have that man it's very important to be safe in the solana ecosystem there's a lot of scammers and things going on so make sure you have that saved and written down on the paper now once you have that of course click on i saved my recovery phrase click on continue and there you go you now have it as an extension click on continue again uh you don't have to do this all right i'm not gonna follow y'all so now that you have that you want to go over to the top on your extension things right there click on that and you should have phantom wallet i recommend you pin it so that it makes it easier to like click on it right there so now you click on it and of course you're in to your phantom wallet congratulations you made your first solano phantom wallet you click right here on the four dots this is where your nfts will show up when you buy one go right here to recent activities you go to your settings and this is where you check everything your change password trusted app you know all the important stuff now we're gonna go right here i'm clearly broke so i don't have anything in this wallet you click on the three little dots right here you can add another wallet add a burner wallet i do have a video on what the hell a burner wallet is so if you want to check that out i'd appreciate it so now how do you get money into this wallet in order to buy some nfts well that is why i am here on coinbase again if you want to get on coinbase i will have a link down below in the description now how do i transfer money okay first thing you want to have solana i bought solana currently it's at 94 dollars hopefully when you're watching this video it jumps up to like 
like 500 and I'm like rich all of a sudden now. But for now, that's not happening. But let's say you buy Solana. You want to click on the Solana that you bought right there. And you're going to find right here where it says wallet, okay? Click on wallet. And once you click on wallet, you're going to see this down here. Ignore this, all right? Solana network is low-key trash. You know, network con congestion is, is crazy. Anyways, you're going to click right here. And it's going to say send. And you're going to see zero Solana to... You're going to see all of this right here. You're going to see my balance. I have a 0.8 Solana. So that's $75. Now what you want to do is you want to pop up your phantom wallet right up here and you, this is your wallet address okay so if anybody ever asks for your wallet address what's your wallet address this is what it is right here you want to click on it it's going to copy it you want to copy that and go all the way down to where it says two make sure to copy that and paste it once you paste that of course you don't have to put a message uh right here you're going to want to send the amount that you want to send to your wallet so i'm gonna click on send all it's going to send 75 dollars which is an amount of 0.8 solana but usually if you find an nft that you want to mint or that you want to buy of course you want to send over that amount easy peasy so of course when you do that you want to click on continue it's pretty much going to send you a code through your phone number so you want to make sure to put that in easy peasy so boom now you're done congratulations now you want to give it a little bit of time and it should be able to send to your phantom wallet so boom now it is in my phantom wallet after waiting for so long aka like five seconds and there it is i have my money in there i completely lost money already because solana keeps dipping but you know it's okay it's actually not okay so boom now i have the solana in my wallet now where do i buy an nft well there's a lot of marketplaces that people use but the most important one is magic eden everybody uses it everybody talks about it why not buy one and sell one on here so you want to search up magic eden i will have these links in the description if you guys want to go do it yourself but this is what you got to do go on magic eden you can scroll down you will find launch pad drops popular collections you got upcoming launches top community upvotes you know you got all of these things out here that you can look at yourself again please be careful do your own research not a lot of these projects will do benefit for you a lot of them will probably scam you you want to be careful and invest in the ones that you believe in which is kind of tough to believe in but you know this is for this is a beginner tutorial so yeah you can go look around see what you like you know you're probably looking around and you probably say oh i like that bear right there you know oh my god this looks really cool yep and you find out is like over five hundred thousand dollars i'm just kidding so you can go ahead and do all the research that you want look for a project that interests you but where do i find some good nft projects my boy clouds well let me show you first thing is first is of course going to my twitter okay alpha is shown on twitter if you want to find a good project in the nft space you must go on twitter it's like where everything is it's where all the good information is some good information not every single one of it most importantly you want to follow me okay i try to give my best alpha even watching my youtube videos i do tell you guys about some good nft projects that are upcoming so i do help out a lot of newbies and a lot of people just trying to give out some free alpha you know trying to put people on some on some game and give them some bread but yeah if you don't want to go to me of course you can find some other trustworthy people all you got to do is really search up nft on like the search you click on enter and boom you're just gonna be bombarded by hella nfts but more specifically we should just look up solana so i'm gonna type in solana and after that you're gonna see a whole bunch of solana projects just look at them see what's cool do not fall in love with the art trust me the art is just seduces you and next thing you know they drain your money congratulations but yeah just try to find one that everybody's talking about a lot of the hype is going on you want to follow other influencers but make sure they're actually about their game of course do a lot of research before you try to invest into buying an nft of course to learn the game you got to jump into it and find out what to do and that's how you learn the best way that's how i learned but let's say you find a cool nft how do you get into it how do you figure out if it's a good nft well you just do your research do the reading join their discord okay their discord is where a lot of the like information is talked about twitter and discord is probably like the most <laughs> nft things to use so twitter and discord you want to make sure to have both of those because that's where you're going to be at majority of your nft life do you want to see what i'm talking about well do you see all of these servers right here yep all nft servers man yeah my life is, is like consumed with nfts now i'm a degen well how do you buy an nft okay so let's click on one right here i find a uh this dis, dis disarticulated scullies i'm like i cannot read for nothing so i'll find a scullies right here i kind of click on one right there i kind of like it you know it's also going to make you connect to a wallet so please click on select wallet right here phantom wallet uh connect do not worry this is trustworthy and as soon as you're here of course you can click buy now which we're completely broke we can't afford this right now or you can make an offer for even cheaper and maybe the person selling it might be like you know what i'm gonna give it to him now here is what a wallet looks like whenever you have nfts clearly these are the nfts that i hold right now i do hold some of them some of them are staking you know so my wallet is looking kind of good all right i got some decent investments in here so let's say i wanted to sell an nft all i would do is click right here which says sell it's going to take me over to these nft pages gonna show all my nfts right here pretty cool right now let's say
say I wanted to list my D Scully, so I want to click on that right there, and it's going to tell me how much I want to list that for. Now, in order to be safe and make sure that your NFT is going to sell, you want to kind of sell at the floor price. What does floor price mean? Floor price means the cheapest one that you can basically buy. So if everybody's talking about the floor price, floor price is it's basically the cheapest NFT uh, from the floor, and everything else is above that. So if I wanted to sell mine, I would probably be able to list it for 3.12 or 3.11, and somebody would probably buy it quicker just because it's at the floor price and everybody wants to buy the cheapest one so that they could just keep building up after that i hope that made sense for you guys but this is basically the for the beginners tutorial this is how i had to learn into the nft space this is basically how you buy and sell nfts here you will see the most popular collections and just like that that's basically how you buy and sell solana nfts again you will spend majority of your time on twitter and discord and also magic eden the marketplace this is where the marketplace is if you want to find projects early on before they blow up i recommend you go on twitter that's how you find them easier you join their discord and that's where they start minting it please follow me on my twitter i said i do be given a lot of information on like what's the good projects coming up what are cool projects to get into so you can trust me all right i'm your homie you don't want to trust a lot of other people out there all right but you want to be careful so yeah man i really hope you guys did enjoy this simple video let me know down below in the comments where you're coming from is it your first time in nfts or crypto in general and uh you know let me know if you enjoyed this if i helped you out hit that like subscribe button kiss you all on your forehead and you guys go make that bread.